How's it going everyone? My name is Abi and welcome to Fluix's channel. Today we're doing a work from home build for less than $400. This build was actually inspired by my mom. She wanted a PC around the house and today we're building it and bringing you guys along. So without further ado, let's check out the parts. Wait, 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 wait. Before we continue, a real quick ad from Fluix. Sorry about this you guys, gotta keep the lights on. Hey everyone, this is Abi from Fluix. If you're a PC gamer, chances are your CPU cooler might be boring and you could really use more performance out of your gaming rig. Introducing a truly one-of-a-kind solution from Fluix, the world's first multi-inlay water block, the Fluix TriSwift. The TriSwift design has a high flow configuration with two dual inlets on each side of the water block injecting turbulent flow onto the heatsink. This greatly increases the rate of heat transfer and performance. The center outlet efficiently exhausts the heated fluid out of the water block. Thermal throttling you say? We never heard of it. Game stream design and overclock endlessly with the Fluix TriSwift. If you're interested in seeing this product out on the market, you can get $20 off the TriSwift by filling out our interest form. Go to fluixengineering.com slash pre-order and scroll down to get to the get notified button. Fill out your name, email, and make sure to opt into our newsletter and you'll receive your $20 off coupon. So starting off with our motherboard, we have the MSI H310M Pro M.2 Plus. This is a LGA1151 socket that pairs perfectly with the processor we have. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and open it up so you guys see what it looks like. All right, so we have the MSI H310M motherboard right over here. As you can see, you get an M.2 slot right over here for some fast storage. By 16 slot for your graphics card. The IO is not that bad on this tiny motherboard. You got some onboard graphics if your processor allows it, which today our processor doesn't. And you got some USB 2.0s, I believe these are. USB 3.0s are over here. Ethernet and audio jack. All right, moving on to our CPU, we have the Core i5-9400F, let's see if we focus right over here, which has an LGA1151 socket. It does need discrete graphics, that's what the 9400F means. So you do need to pair this with an actual video card. Um, so it's a great processor, you can get it for about 140 bucks on Amazon, great bang for the buck, and it'll be very necessary uh, for your office slash productivity uh, tasks, which it can handle really well. It's a hexa-core, so it has six cores, I believe six threads as well, and it boosts to uh, 4.1 gigahertz on turbo, so not a bad processor. Moving on, this is our graphics card, the MSI GeForce GT 710. Now, a lot of you guys might be thrown off by this. Now, remember, this is an office work from home build, so we're not looking for any type of gaming here, just something to get 1080p output to our monitors, and this graphics card will do just that. It can handle up to two monitors, and it has one gigabyte of VRAM. It is a little slower DDR3, but it does offer the ability for someone to upgrade in the future. This will definitely get the job done for now. Opening it up, okay, let's see if I can do it one-handed again. It's got your simple graphics card right over here. I believe it is passively cooled, so you don't have any fans or anything like that, which is really cool. Here, let me open it. All right, opening it up right over here. Now, let's check out the little graphics card we have today. It's pretty tiny, as you can see, fits in the palm of my hand. It is passively cooled, so that's confirmed right over here with this large heat sink array right over here. Um, not that bad as far as the display uh, compatibility. We got VGA, I believe this is, or it says CRT. VGA will work with this, HDMI, and DVI, so we can handle up to three monitors, which we'll only be doing two. So, nice little tiny card right over here. So what's really cool about this low profile graphics card is you can actually choose a different type of uh, slot you can have right over here in case you're just using the VGA right over here or if you just want to use the DVI and HDMI it does come with that ability to do so right over here. It's really cool. So for memory we have a nice 16 gigabyte kit from Old oh, Wow. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Olu, Olu, Olu. I'll just call it Olu. 
Anyway, it's a 16 gigabyte kit. So and this 16 gigabyte kit will run your 25 Chrome tabs, no problem. You can even have a video call in the background and run a whole bunch of other programs. For some reason it's not coming out. Okay, there you go. So that's what it looks like. Not a bad looking heat spreader. It kind of gives that gamery vibe. We'll go with a great aesthetic in our case, which I'll show in just a second, but here you go. All right, so before we get to our case, this is our power supply from Thermaltake. I love their cool all your life. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's a smart series power supply. It's 430 watts, and I believe, yes, 80 plus certification on efficiency. Uh, ultra quiet fan, 120 millimeter fan. We'll see and we'll test that out, but this is plenty of power to power your i5 right over there and your graphics card. Um, it has all the connections that you see right over here. So uh, we'll see how it all comes together as far as if it will leave a rat's nest in your case. Um, but it's a nice little power supply. I believe this was around $45, so a really good deal. All right, so real quick before we get to our case, this is our boot drive. It's a 3.5 inch. Uh, SATA SSD as you can see it's 128 gigs. I believe this was around 12 bucks So it's a really good deal. This will be some really fast storage so you can get into Windows Open up your browser and just get straight to work uh, We'll be outfitting this computer with another two terabyte hard drive from Barracuda Which is about I believe $50 on Amazon right over here so now let's go on to the case finally all right so for our case we have the deep cool maxis match what does it say oh right here matrix 30. sorry about that you guys the deep cool matrix 30. this was a case that i found on amazon and pc part picker for less than forty dollars one thing i noticed about the glass that comes with this deep cool case it's really easy to get your fingerprints on there so if you don't want that, just make sure you handle it from the sides and you can use this microfiber cloth just like this to wipe off your fingerprints. Just wanted to make sure you guys know that. For now, you can keep the glass in a cardboard box to keep it safe. Real quick, before we get to the build, you can also do an AMD Ryzen build. The Ryzen 5 2600 is a great CPU that you can get right now. I believe it's yep, right here for 150 bucks, a little bit more than our i5. But remember, if you go Ryzen, you gotta pair it with a AMD motherboard, an AM4 motherboard, which is a great entry board, is the A320M that you can get as well. I believe it says right here. 60 bucks so all these prices I'm gonna link in the description remember these prices are accurate for September of 2020 all right it's finally my most favorite time build time now this is going to be a time-lapse build so if you guys want to learn how to actually build a PC step-by-step -step where I explain everything go ahead and and I'll link the video right over here to our how-to video but this is just gonna be a time-lapse to make sure the video is not 30 minutes long so enjoy All right, so what you just saw me do is build this Frankenstein PC right over here on the motherboard box. I'm just testing to see, make sure that it boots up, that I installed the CPU right and the RAM right, and that it goes into the BIOS, which it has, and everything reads out perfect. So let's go ahead and check that out. We have our i5 9400F, and we have our, it should be reading 16 gigs of RAM, which it is and we're good to go everything seems good so now that we know the pc boots up it goes into the bios and the graphics card works everything is installed correctly we can finally put all these parts into the case
All right, so my DSLR just died. So I'm shooting this with my phone now. I hope you guys don't see a performance degradation or anything like that, but let's go ahead and install this power supply. MSI graphics card doesn't even take up the full PCIe slot, which is pretty cool, but let's go ahead and install it just like this. Just like that. No need to even push this back in. <laughs> and now the graphics card is in. build is finished time to put the side panel back on don't worry about all this i'm gonna cable manage it later so i started to do cable management and then it turned into a mess i'm just gonna leave it like this and fix it later but let's finish the build up Alright guys, so the build is finally finished. It took a little bit longer than expected, but we got it done. I'll leave all the parts that I used in the description below. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to share it with anyone who's looking to build a work from home PC. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.